Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Mock Curiosity. In this video, we will be studying about microbial enzymes and antibiotics. So microbial enzymes again consist of two words, microbial and enzymes. First thing, what are enzymes? Enzymes are the biomolecules. Mostly they are proteins. And what is their function? They speed up the reaction. They increase the rate of reaction. For example, if some reaction is going to take place in 10 minutes without enzymes, it may occur in one minute when you add enzyme to the reaction. And the best part, they don't take part in the reaction. That means even after the reaction has happened, you can find the enzyme as it is. Best thing. And these properties we will be using in the industrial microbiology. Now the second thing, microbial. That means the enzymes that are obtained only from microorganisms are called as microbial enzymes. If you extract some enzyme from human, from plants, it won't be called as microbial enzyme. Now, where we use all these enzymes? In all the industries, almost many industries, these enzymes are used. You have studied cheese production. In that, I had told you that protease is used in cheese production. What is protease? It is an enzyme obtained from microorganisms. Similarly, other than cheese making, in paper, textile, leather, everywhere, these microbial enzymes are becoming extremely useful. I will tell you one interesting fact about ice creams. The thickness in ice cream that we eat in the ice cream parlor or that we bring from the shops is due to a product named xanthan gum. And this xanthan gum is obtained from a bacteria called xanthomonas campestris. So even if you have tried making ice cream at home, it does not become that thick as it is when you bring it from the shop. This is due to xanthan gum. This gum is used in cold products like milkshake, chocolate, ice cream, but also in hot products like puddings. Now, due to this property that it can be used in cold as well as hot products, it becomes extremely useful in the industrial processes. It is used not only in ice cream but also in other industries for pigmentation, as we decide, and many different functions. Now, as we know about microbial enzymes, we will know the examples. In your textbook, there are many examples given, like oxidoreductase, transferase, etc. Now, how you will remember these examples? Simple trick. Remember a word, ortlil. I repeat, ortlil. That is O T H L I L. Where O stands for oxidoreductase, T stands for transferase, H for hydrolase, L for ligase. I for isomerase and L for lyase. Simple? Now remember, whenever writing enzyme, even when you have studied the enzyme protease, here also we have studied the enzymes. The ending is ASE or if it is plural, ASES. It is hydrolases. Now, why these enzymes are so important? In industrial microbiology. First thing, the general uses. General uses are it is non hazardous and it is eco friendly. But imagine if you are an industrialist, you won't consider this larger aspect. What you will consider is money. So, what we need is as an industrialist, low investment and high profit. So, these microbial enzymes give us high profit. Why? Due to its properties, like they are active. They are active means they are working. 
they perform their function at low temperature, pH and pressure. Low temperature and pressure means you, you are investing less energy. For example, if you need to increase the temperature, what you will do? You will put on some electricity or gas. So you are investing in gas or electricity. But now you are needing low temperature. So the investment in gas and electricity is low. So that means low investment even in terms of money. So it's very important for industrialists to balance these things. That is the money aspect. So microbial enzymes are useful in this aspect. They are saving energy and thus money. Also, they don't need erosion proof instruments. That means these enzymes don't cause erosion of the instruments. If you use some chemical catalyst, they may erode the vessel. Again, you will have to invest in new vessel or make an erosion proof vessel. But here, you don't need to make an erosion proof vessel nor need to replace the vessel. So, what is happening is you are saving that money. One more thing that is important is these are reusable as i have already told you that these enzymes they don't get used up in the reaction now as they don't get used up we can reuse them again and again i'll explain you this with the help of a diagram see the figure a and figure b the solution color in figure a is yellow and in b is green now imagine that in a it is a source and the B that is green is product and the red dots, the red substance in the vessel are catalyst. So what you are finding, you are finding catalyst even in the figure A and also in figure B. So what does this mean? That the catalyst is as it is. So what you can do, you can just take out that catalyst, add it again in the source in next cycle. Again, it will get converted into product and do this repeatedly. So you are getting, so you are using the same enzyme again and again. So you don't need to invest money even in making enzyme or buying new enzyme. Now let's move on to antibiotics. What are antibiotics? Antibiotics are weapons. Have you seen gun? Yes bow and arrow all these things are weapons of human beings what they do they protect that person from other things that can be harmful to it similarly what antibiotics do is they protect that microorganism antibiotics are the substance which this microorganism secret and kill all the other microorganisms growing around it but it does not kill its own species. For example, if there is one type of mushroom growing, white mushroom, then white mushroom won't kill another white mushroom. It will kill the red mushroom. Now this property of microorganism is used by humans in industries. Which industries? Antibiotic production. That is pharmaceutical. So what this medicine is doing is, it is killing another microorganisms in our body you have studied probiotics in that i have told you that what antibiotic does it kills the good microorganisms as well as bad microorganisms in our body so why we are eating it because when we are ill that time what happens is to kill the microorganisms that are causing illness we just take these antibiotics there are many types of antibiotics like penicillin, cephalosporin, neomycin. The interesting fact is these antibiotics get their name from the microorganisms. That is penicillin is obtained from penicillium. Like the video? Please click on the like button. If you have any queries, put it in the comment box and do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of the next videos. Thank you.